The global battery market was estimated to be worth $45 billion annually in 2022 and is expected to reach $193 billion by 2028. Although battery technology isn't new, its application in EVs has created a booming market where new, improved chemistry is worth billions. Today we will cover a groundbreaking discovery scientists have made that could revolutionize the electric vehicle industry. Lithium air batteries. In this video, we'll explain this new battery chemistry, how it works, all of its benefits, and the massive potential for powering the future of transportation. After years of research, scientists are finally rolling out a new type of battery with a higher energy density that will extend the range of electric vehicles by 400%, making them lighter and cheaper. Before we go into more details about this battery, it's important to first talk about the disadvantages of lithium-ion batteries and why they need to be replaced by a better battery technology. The first disadvantage of lithium-ion batteries is that they're not as robust as some other rechargeable technologies. They require protection from being overcharged and discharged too far. Most publications advise to keep these batteries between 20 and 80% at all times in order to preserve the lifetime of the batteries. They need to have the current maintained within safe limits, so they require protection circuitry incorporated to ensure they're kept within their safe operating limits. The fact that lithium-ion batteries deteriorate over time is another significant drawback for consumer devices using them. Not only is this time or calendar dependent, but it's also dependent on the number of charge-discharge cycles that the battery has undergone. Often, these batteries can only endure 500 to 1,000 charge-discharge cycles before their capacity diminishes. This limit is rising as lithium-ion technology advances, but if the batteries are built into the equipment, they may need to be replaced after a while. Lithium-ion batteries also age whether they are in use or not. Despite the usage, there's also a time-related element to the reduction in capacity. The price of lithium-ion batteries is another disadvantage. They typically cost about 40% more to produce than nickel-cadmium cells. This is a significant factor when taking into account their use in mass-produced consumer goods, where any added expenses are a major concern. So because of these reasons and many more, scientists have been researching other battery technologies and now they've revealed the lithium air battery. Many top academic and industrial laboratories around the world have given this issue a lot of attention over the past 10 years. And as a result, some of the problems have now been resolved. A suitable cathode that employs a highly active and stable catalyst to improve oxygen reduction reaction and oxygen evolution reaction kinetics, as well as an appropriate electrolyte design, are two critical requirements for the commercial viability of lithium air battery technology. Scientists have developed highly effective catalysts like nanolithia, lithium iodide, and trimolybdenum phosphide in their search for an extremely active catalyst. In order to enable longer cycle stability, new electrolyte formulations have been created that significantly reduce side reactions in the battery chemistry. In some instances, a catalyst incorporating nanocarbons and an improved air cathode structure increases the practical energy density. And now, scientists at the Illinois Institute of Technology, IIT, and the U.S. Department of Energy's DOE Argonne National Laboratory have made significant progress that may mark an important turning point for electric vehicles, which have drawn criticism for their short driving range. The novel lithium air battery promises to improve the range of electric vehicles, reducing range anxiety among users. In the future, the battery could be used to power domestic planes and long-haul trucks. As a result of nations like the US and the UK banning the sales of new gasoline and diesel vehicles beginning in 2035, the number of electric vehicles is expected to rise dramatically over the next 10 years. This legislation is crucial and marks a significant step toward the environment's decarbonization. Despite all of their adverse environmental effects, conventional combustion-engine powered vehicles still have one significant benefit over their electrified successors, a longer driving range. According to research from Drive Electric, the average electric car's range today is between 150 and 300 miles on a full charge. This means that current electric vehicle range capabilities are insufficient for longer trips, trips millions of people globally take daily. 
But with the introduction of this new battery technology, electric vehicles will see their range improve drastically, and this can lead to a wider adoption of electrification in the coming years. According to Larry Curtis, an Argonne Distinguished Fellow, for over a decade, scientists at Argonne and elsewhere have been working overtime to develop a lithium battery that makes use of the oxygen in the air. The lithium air battery has the highest projected energy density of any battery technology being considered for the next generation of batteries beyond lithium ion. A recent study described the chemistry of the unique lithium air battery, an inventive design that could offer significantly higher energy density than conventional lithium ion battery technology. This could represent a significant development for the battery industry as well as a revolution in heavy-duty vehicles like trains, aircraft, and even submarines. With just a 5% reduction in energy efficiency and no effect on coulombic efficiency, the new battery can withstand more than a thousand recharge cycles. This indicates that throughout the charge recharge cycles, all of the battery's original material was still functional and would not undergo any irreversible side effects. A solid electrolyte built on a ceramic polyethylene oxide composite is used in the design developed by Illinois Institute of Technology researchers. In earlier versions of the lithium air battery, the lithium in a lithium metal anode travels through a liquid electrolyte during the discharge to react with oxygen, creating lithium peroxide, or Li2O2, or superoxide, LiO2, at the cathode. During filling, these are broken down once more into lithium and oxygen components, triggering a chemical reaction that releases energy when needed. The team's new lithium air battery, however, has a solid electrolyte made of a ceramic polymer material that allows chemical reactions that result in the production of lithium oxide, Li2O, during discharge. Rachid Amin, an argonne chemist, said, the chemical reaction for lithium superoxide or peroxide only involves one or two electrons stored per oxygen molecule, whereas that for lithium oxide involves four electrons. Solid electrolytes are safer and more effective than liquid electrolytes. When used individually, ceramic and polymer materials used as solid electrolytes have drawbacks of their own, but when combined, they can offer both the high ionic conductivity of ceramic and the high stability of the polymer. The composite electrolyte was able to work at room temperature, a first for lithium air batteries. According to Mohamed Asadi, assistant professor of chemical engineering at Illinois Tech, the solid state electrolyte contributes around 75% of the total energy density. The lithium air battery may be able to hold up to one kilowatt hour per kilogram, which is four times more energy than the lithium ion technology currently available. Also, according to the science article, a lithium air battery based on lithium oxide, Li2O, formation could theoretically produce an energy density comparable to that of gasoline. This is the first lithium air battery in the world to achieve a four-electron reaction at room temperature. Furthermore, the battery runs on oxygen from the surrounding environment, eliminating the need for oxygen tanks, which was a major limitation of the technology. The team employed many different techniques to establish that a four-electron reaction was actually taking place. Transmission electron microscopy, or TEM, was one of the techniques used to examine the discharge products on the cathode surface at the Argonne Center for Nanoscale Materials. The TEM images provided valuable insight into the four-electron discharge mechanism. Furthermore, because the lithium air battery uses a solid electrolyte rather than the liquid electrolytes used in lithium ion and other battery types, it does not suffer from the safety issue of the liquid electrolyte catching fire. Curtis also said, with further development, we expect our new design for the lithium air battery to also reach a record energy density of 1200 watt hours per kilogram. That's nearly four times better than lithium ion batteries. In the future, Asadi intends to collaborate with members of the business sector in an effort to optimize the design for manufacturing. According to the researcher, this new technological breakthrough has created a big window of possibility for the commercialization of lithium air batteries. So things are looking good for electric vehicles so far, and they should begin to push their ICE and hybrid brothers out of the market pretty soon. This is also good news for the environment, as the adoption of more electric vehicles will help to reduce carbon emissions. So what do you think about this news? Let us know down in the comments section. And if you watched until now, thank you very much. Please, 
consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.